Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be flying to Mumbai. He will reach there by 4.15 to pay his respects to Lata Mangeshkar. In a video message, the Prime Minister condoled her death, saying she will forever remain with us in our hearts. Lata Mangeshkar passed away earlier this morning. The nation will observe two-day national mourning. The national flag will fly at half-mast for two days and there will be no official entertainment. Now, the Prime Minister took to social media platform Twitter. He said he was anguished beyond words that the kind and caring Lata Didi has left us. He tweeted saying she leaves a void in our nation that cannot be filled. Coming generations will remember her as a stalwart of Indian culture whose melodious voice had an unparalleled ability to mesmerize people, unquote. हम सभी के लिए एक बहुत दुखद खबर आई है हमारी लता दीदी आज हमें छोड़कर चली गई है परमात्मा में विलीन हो गई कल ही वसंत पंचमी का पर्व था मां शारदा की हम आराधना कर रहे थे जिनके कंठ से मां सरस्वती का आशीर्वाद छोटे बड़े हर किसी को मिलता था वो लता दी ब्रह्मलोक की यात्रा पर चली गई उनके व्यक्तित्व का विस्तार and national award winning singer Sasha Tirupati now joins me on the broadcast in a moment from now. We'll also be joined by other guests. Sasha, how do you remember Lata Mangeshkar? How do you pay your respects and tribute to Lata Mangeshkar, Sasha? Uh, Gaurabji, it's. I've had such an emotional morning. <laughs> Um, it's it's been very difficult because um, I literally grew up. Um, she was my first guru per se, and my mother would write her songs in a little red diary, and um, my father would make mixtapes mixtapes of all of her songs, and they would put me in a bedroom and they'd be like, "Okay, we practice karo." And um, this was back home in Vancouver, Canada, and I would be locked in that bedroom and. Be practicing Lata Ji's songs um, for two hours, three hours, four hours. So it's just my entire childhood is in front of me. Um, and I mean, obviously, these things are inevitable. But at the same time, when you know somebody's just there, you know they're there, right? Yeah. Um, so I, I have such profound memories of uh, performing all those songs. I think most of us um, singers of my generation, we would relate to this. We on stage, we used to sing Lata Ji songs and Rafi Saab songs. And uh, for me, that was... And there was this one time where I was singing Jaure Jogi Tum Jaure, um, an old song of Lata Ji's. And yes. I was sitting and playing cars with my brothers and my mother overheard me sing the song. And she called my father and she's like, Sasha, sing that run again, beta. <laughs> so I sang that little run. I'll not be able to sing it right now because I have a very heavy voice. Um, but uh, I sang it again. And after that, my father is like, we need to get you trained in music. So again, that leads back to Lata Ji. And, and, and what um, a beautiful song. What a beautiful song. Jaure, Jogi Tum Jaure. Um, do you, what are the songs that you used to sing very frequently and a song that, that's just coming back to you right now, Sasha? Um, there were so many, um, I think ever, I'm so sorry, I've, I've had a really bad morning, um, ever since I heard of this, um, I think some of them were, of course, I made it, ke logon which you just played, yes. um, that was one, then Tanhan, Pari Me Tere Dwar was a bhajan I used to sing a lot, um, Allah Tero Naam was one of, um, the devotional songs I used to sing, Lajja Gale, of course. But then, like, some songs from, like, back in the 50s, 60s, I think those were, like, the prime time, and those are songs that I can't, can't forget. 
so you know begin begin with whichever song that comes to you uh, whether devotional or romantic and sing and you know she had sung so many i mean uh, from yashomati maiya se bole nandnala so, oh, yeah. so you know you just you just start somewhere the most romantic songs the most passionate songs the devotional songs whichever song that comes to your mind sasha this is this is truly so you know at at royal albert hall when she was singing and and some of these songs sasha the the crowd it just erupted it just erupted and i mean can you imagine somebody who sang perhaps 30000 plus songs how do you even choose which one which one uh, you know that that moves you what what song of hers moved you maximum sasha this is the worst time to be asking me this question god i'm thinking because um there are so many oh my god and i'm trying not to them and they're haunting me um i think one of them would have to be um oh do dil toote do dil hare or ki gaan ka go ahead can you hear me yep i can hear you go ahead we we just you know waiting to hear you sing that Oh okay um yes uh, of okay. course brilliant absolutely and uh, each song of hers i mean imagine she started singing at the age of 5 years started singing professionally at the age of 13 years and sang more than 30000 songs uh, and and there were films sasha you would know better that films would have you know some 6 7 8 of her songs actors signed up movies only if she was uh, the the playback singer that was that was what lata mangeshkar was is and will continue to rule our hearts stay with me for a moment sasha yes. rajdeep